Okay, I'm making a video on checking out a battery operated drill charger to see if it's working. Somebody asked me how could they do it. Well, I'm going to show you the way I do it. I got this Black & Decker. You can see I got a dead battery in there right now. And I'll pull out the dead battery and I'm going to put in a fully charged battery. Make sure it works. And it works as good as it gets. Okay, and then here's my battery charger. It says output 12 volts DC. So we're going to plug that in the wall outlet. We'll take the other side for the input of the battery to charge it. And I'm going to take my multimeter, put my selector switch and bolts DC. Then I'm going to take my red lead and plug it in the volts plug and then I'm going to plug the black lead into the common plug and we're in volts DC so now I'm going to guess the outside metal is more than likely to ground and the center is going to be our power and there you go I got 17 volts 17 plus volts coming out of that charger which I know it said it had a 12 volt output but it always puts out more volts to charge whatever it's charging up to that 12 volt level okay now i'm going to take a battery here go to my negative and positive contacts and i'm reading 12.39 on the good battery and on the crappy battery as you can see i'm reading 3.38 volts okay so now we know what we have all the way around and we know our charger we're going to plug my charger into the drill. I'm going to split these wires and put an amp clamp on here and see what kind of amps this thing is putting out. And that will also tell you the charger is working. There's my little amps position. I'm going to go to off. You see we have nothing. Come back up here. Go to amps. And we got zero all the way across. And I'm going to take it and wrap it around one of these wires and see what kind of reading we get. Now this is a fully charged battery, so it's going to be zero. So that doesn't tell us whether that charger is working. So let me put the old weak battery in there. That's half dead. All right, now we'll plug the charger back into the drill. See what kind of reading we get here. And plug it in. See it's charging at 0.23 amps. Okay, and you can test it if I push the trigger and make the drill motor run it's going to run up the amps and I'm just going to do it for a second to show you because you could burn up your charger this could be an excessive amount of amps and it jumps up to 25 let me cut it off before I do burn it up and I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope it was helpful thanks for watching